You know, I'd rather be put in the electric chair than 25 years of life, you know. For four and a half years now, I've lived with a hell that society cannot even imagine. Death, death Row, Death Row is a very strange place. You do not store people like chunks of beef. There are 296 men and women on Florida's death row. They've been found guilty of first degree premeditated murder. Murders considered to be cruel, atrocious, or heinous. Society has this big image of everybody on death row being a monster. And that's not at all true. Michael Lambrix was 24 years old when he was sentenced to die in a Moorhaven courtroom, convicted of the murders of a couple he'd met at a bar. His girlfriend testified he forced her to lie on the ground so he could measure the graves. Death Row is, is a place that consists of modern-day torture. Richard Rhodes strangled his girlfriend in an old Tampa hotel. Her body was only discovered when debris from the demolished building was moved to St. Petersburg. Rhodes and Lambrex live with 290 other men on death row at Florida State Prison. They wake up at 5, they eat, they watch TV and write letters in their 6 by 8 foot cells. Don't leave that cell. You exist totally in that 54 square feet of space. They get two hours a week in the exercise yard and a shower every other night. They talk through the bars. But you can talk around the wall or you can hold a mirror out and you know, that's not too many people do that on me you now. Your arm gets tired. At nighttime, rats run into the cells looking for things to eat and crawl up in bed with the inmates and bite them. Death row inmates are not doing time. They are not sentenced prisoners. They are condemned men, warehoused. Death row is a countdown to the electric chair, affecting them all differently. Every morning he, he would yelp, you know, like a dog. I said, uh, what's going on over there? What are you doing every morning? And he said, uh, and he, he talked very seriously, a very serious tone in his voice, and he said, he said, uh, I'm sticking my finger up in the light socket. I said, why are you doing that? He said, I'm building up an immunity to electricity. Florida's electric chair. 20 men have been brought to this room in the past 10 years. Their heads and right legs shaved, 2,000 volts of electricity shocking their bodies. They die within two minutes. The official cause of death? homicide. The executioner, whose identity is a secret, is paid $150. The last man to die was Ted Bundy. Getting measured for your suit, ordering your last meal, making your funeral arrangements. I mean, it's just one thing after another until finally it's just one continuous days. Lambrix's stay came only hours before he was to be electrocuted. They are all hoping the courts will get them off off of death row and out of prison, and they have reason to hope. Half of all the death sentences handed out in this country are commuted to lesser sentences. In Miami, I'm Connie Hicks, Channel 10, Eyewitness News.